The next generation console is definitely not canceled. New information has just surfaced from trusted insiders tied to Xbox's hardware team and AMD. The next generation Xbox is real and we finally get a look at this larger than life chip. The Xbox console generation is nearing its end and rumors have been swirling about Microsoft pulling support and canceling the next generation console. Insiders and leakers that claim to be close to Microsoft saying everything has been shelved, even with an official statement from Microsoft PR pointing to their AMD partnership. But a new leak from hardware expert Moore's Law is Dead not only outlined Xbox's plan. In fact, an AMD employee spoke out about the recent rumor saying, quote, as far as I and AMD engineer know, Xbox Magnus is still full steam ahead. We were literally discussing next steps in a progress update on October 3rd, 2025. However, I would caution that this Magnus APU is whatever Microsoft wants to call it. It was originally called an Xbox project, but who knows, maybe that means a PC console hybrid in 2027, or even a literal gaming PC APU that is in Xbox in name only. Close quote. But a look at the actual processing chip that will power next generation. Xbox and AMD are deep into development of the Xbox Magnus, a super massive gaming CPU and GPU combination that appears to be more powerful and more highly capable than anyone expected. The Xbox Magnus is setting up for quantity production with the TSMC and AMD to be a part of a family of chips that Xbox will use to power their first party Xbox developed next generation console. Sources close to Xbox and the Harbor team have illustrated that the next generation Xbox console will be a PC console hybrid to allow Steam, Epic, Ubisoft, and other PC storefronts to play games, but most importantly, have full compatibility with the current Xbox console library. Sources close to Xbox's hardware team say they are currently working on the compatibility layer to make the device considered legally and hardware-wise an Xbox first. So let's take a look at the Xbox Magnus SoC. This is a system on chip that is comprised of a dual chiplet design that will leverage the power of traditional PC and console like gaming with a dedicated AI neural processing unit that will work in concert with a workhorse system. This APU is made up of two chiplets centered on the SoC side by side, a remarkable unique configuration tailor-made for gaming and performance. The CPU will have a 144 millimeter squared die, an SoC that is M3P TSMC CPU cores with an AI engine. Next to it, a 264 millimeter squared die for a total of 408 millimeters square. This is in comparison to the current Xbox Series X at 350 millimeters square. All of this is running with a modest thermal profile and a power output of 250 to 350 watts. Nothing remarkable for power draws. This massive CPU is made up of a dual bridge system that uses three Zen 6 cores of a three nanometer CPU paired with eight Zen 6C cores, which are also three nanometer, making the combined processing power much faster than the upcoming PS6 called Project Orion. This gives the Xbox Magnus a total of 11 cores with 12 megabytes of L3 cache. This L3 cache will free up the system RAM and memory, which is extremely helpful for open world games or games with a ton of enemy AI and logistics. The GPU in the Xbox Magnus is made up of 68 RDNA 5 compute units to a maximum of 70 with two disabled. Moore's Law is Dead is 100% sure that the Xbox Magnus is made up of 68 active compute units in total. With four shader engines, three of them have nine work groups and two shader arrays. With 24 megabytes of L2 cache based on Radeon, this is five times of the current L2 in the Xbox Series X with almost no bandwidth constraints. This will allow fast rasterization and rendering of highly detailed geometry in open world games. The memory pool array that surrounds the Xbox Magnus is made up of 192-bit memory bus with a 48-gigabyte set of GDDR7 RAM in a shared memory pool. 
This is three times more RAM in a generational leap of GDDR7 over the current Xbox Series X. Expect much more detail on screen, a cleaner, crisp, and more refined rendering process, which is absolutely essential on large screens, especially in movement. But one of the most exciting and cutting edge future-proof pieces of technology that is powering AMD's Xbox Magnus is the AI-driven neural processing unit. Think smart, intelligent imagery refinement and super low latency organic frame rate boost. The Xbox Magnus within itself, according to these raw specs, shows a powerhouse in high performance resolution and frame rate. But the AI NPU that makes up the heart of the Xbox Magnus will do much of the heavy lifting behind the scenes. This NPU AI engine with 110 tops is a two times operating improvement over the Xbox Series X in the AI neural processing unit alone. But the Xbox Magnus is uniquely designed to also offer a lower power mode for 36 tops. This will be used for multitasking and to power the new AI integrated co-pilot system that will allow you to search for game assistance, help or answer questions within the game without taking any power or performance away from the system or the game. The Xbox Magnus is notably faster and more powerful than the upcoming PS6 leaks with 25 to 33% more performance according to Moore's Law is Dead, equaling millions of more pixels, higher settings overall, and better frame rates. The Xbox Magnus will be able to leverage the AI hardware as well, giving AMD's latest software upscaling through FSR 4.0 or even using Microsoft's AutoSR, which is a proprietary software solution. The Xbox Magnus is first and foremost an Xbox product. This means that the number one priority of its design is to make sure that your game entitlement for a library of over 4,000 currently available Xbox games come forward day one with no compromises. But since this is also a hybrid PC, Xbox Magnus will leverage the power of hardware unlocked unlike any other console, allowing you to enjoy PC-like flexibility and prioritize frame rate or resolution, especially with the integration of actual PC games across Steam, Epic, and other storefronts, even giving you access to up to 50 PlayStation first party, formerly exclusive titles. But this console will not be cheap. Experts are expecting Xbox Magnus to come in at around $800. The Xbox Magnus is set to make a profit at launch and not be subsidized by software or services. Xbox knows this. This is also why they canceled their own native first party Xbox handheld because a deal struck with AMD to produce a certain amount of Xbox Magnus consoles has pushed them forward to move into next generation on their next generation console. This is Microsoft and Xbox's final chance to serve a niche console market, especially with their segmented customer base. But it sounds like Xbox is going to make their last console one of the most powerful and impressive pieces of machinery that will allow you to play more games than ever, but at a price. The leaked specs definitely look impressive, and according to hardware experts, this will unlock the potential as games move far into next generation. And if you own a sizable library of games across Xbox and PC, Xbox Magnus has more to offer than any other console combined. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching this video. The Xbox Magnus. It sounds exciting. It sounds powerful. And it sounds expensive. And do I think that Xbox will actually go through and deliver this next generation console in the next year or two? Yeah, I actually do. But I also understand that at any time, Xbox and Microsoft could completely cancel what they plan to do for next generation. And they could move out of the console market. But everything right now is pointing to the actual evidence that they are with hardware developers working on everything, AMD in that partnership, TSMC, so many things, especially this new leak that shows the actual chipset. There is a major confirmation bias among people who really want to see the Xbox brand leave the industry. I don't think they understand what that means. I hope you're still here watching because this is kind of an important message because for almost two decades, the Xbox was a platform nobody really wanted in the business in the first place. And they're waiting for that moment for Xbox to bow out and leave. But the ramifications of Xbox leaving would continue to hike up prices with their competitors. The competitors would be able to do whatever they want and lower their expectations or their consumerism 
for fans like us, some gaming. And not to mention, if Xbox went full third party without their own console, it's far too early. That's just something that I think that most developers and publishers and platforms, especially even PlayStation, will eventually move to in the next 10 years. If you ended up enjoying this video, let me know by that. Can subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified of new weekly content. If you want to further support what we're doing here on the Cold Easter channel, you can hit the join button below. By hitting that join button and becoming a channel membership, you get custom emojis, specialties in the chat. You also get early access to videos and so much more. Check out the Patreon if you want to further support what we're doing here. There's also a super class where you can learn how to do lighting, video, production, audio editing, even thumbnail design and uh, the approach on YouTube if you want to make your own content as well. But check out the Excellency podcast. That's a weekly podcast there. Mag and I are going to talk about all of the news, like these new hardware leaks and everything that is being debunked or put into question. But let me know what you think about Xbox and their current trajectory. Let me know, are they going to go through with the Xbox Magnus? Or do you think people are going to will it into reality that Xbox leaves forever? Let me know in the comments section. And while you do that, as I always say, please be nice.